Wah, wah, wah. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Late to the game. Um, this is going to be confusing for Sky. Uh, I, I'm just now starting a new recording for this stream because I have been streaming the game for 40 minutes with the camera off. Because I'm fucking stupid. Because I'm fucking stupid. So here we are. The game is turned back on. I've been bitching about it and, and making observations for 40 minutes now that are going to completely go down the drain. Um, but that's fine. That's fine since nobody was here and since this is a fresh recording. I can just say it all over again. Oh, God. It's one of those fucking days, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. We've been playing the game for, like, 40 minutes now. And... Yeah, I, I didn't even fucking check the goddamn feed there. I'm so fucking stupid. We went to go see the merchant guy that we paused in front of last time. And I failed the charisma check. I had to bribe him a hundred gold pieces and I have to come back two days later to, to save him from getting shook down by the guards. Now I have no idea what's going to happen if I actually show up late to that, uh, right here, come back in one day, 11 hours. If I'm late, maybe he'll get his fucking shit beaten. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Kurt. I talked to Kurt at camp and he has a quest for us to go see a new recruit that he wants to maybe use as a personal guard for Constantine. Um, and he asked for our opinion on the matter, which I thought was kind of stupid because as a noble, we have absolutely no idea what a soldier uh, or a guard's job entails. Uh, as I made mention, uh, our character here is a female. Um, she is a noble from this like Victorian-ish era. Is that the right Victorian? I don't... She's from, she's from a point in time where n ladies of nobility aren't typically taught things like sword play or war tactics or things like that. So the fact that she can fight at all is incredible. Um, she's going to have absolutely no fucking idea uh, if this new recruit is a good fit as a personal bodyguard. She's got no experience or knowledge of that kind of thing at all uh so asking her for her opinion on the matter makes no fucking sense in a similar vein we talked to vasco at camp and he also has a quest for us where he wants us to help him find out how where he was born uh he says the mysteries surrounding his birth are well a mystery uh he has no idea where he was born or whose parents were or anything like that um and and now it's become an obsession of his which makes equally no fucking sense because pretty much everything we know about Vasco and the Knots is that they are like radical sea people. That the only thing that really matters to them is their seafaring culture and their group, I guess. And all for the Knots! The Knots are the, the best! We're, we're Knots! Um... Yeah, so the fact that he's like, what, 30, 40 years old or whatever, now deciding I have to find the mysteries of my birth all of a sudden, even after we did that side quest with the cabin boy that pretty much told us how things are for these people and how all that, like, origin story shit doesn't fucking matter, apparently it does to this guy. So he wants us to find out who his family is. Doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Uh, we've been given these quests to set up camp and find notes everywhere, which is just going to be an ongoing thing. Um, that's the fucking merchant side quest. And then as we went in to go talk to Constantine, uh, with the native girl in our party, he asked us to go talk to the bridge society and to the weirdo religious cult to ask them about the Malachor. And Aloy from New Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever 
has said that her people are at war with the Bridge Society and she wants us to broker a truce or... Actually, the reality of her coming to us is that she wants allies to f help fight the war against the Bridge Society, but since we're allies with them... <sighs> I don't care about any of this. I don't care about any of these fucking side quests. None of this interests me. None of this fucking interests me. Um, Sky says, I thought you were just starting. Nope, nope. I wasn't just starting, Sky. I was just stupid. I was just really stupid and bad at what I do. Firefox is here now. Says, greed that falls. It is falling. It is falling quite far. So far. And now I'm like, ah... Uh, uh, that fucking really rattled me. That really fucking rattled me, that whole thing with the camera. Now I'm, like, on edge, and... Aw. Aw! Aw! Fuck! Ugh. It fell off screen, literally, the greed, says Sky. And he's right, he's absolutely right. You missed it, Firefox. I was playing for 40 minutes with the camera shut off. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh god. So what was I griping about when we came into this fucking area? Fuck was I even griping about? Oh right, I was griping about the combat system. I was griping about the lack of a stamina bar in the combat system and how that makes me feel like I have to pay way more attention to the combat than I would even in like a like a Dark Souls game which is like what the fucking combat seems to be based off of um, on account of the lack of stamina causes you to be more aggressive which causes you to be open to attack so one of the uh, one of the other things I was mentioning prior to the fixing of the issue, uh, was that this is a really weird take on open world, quote unquote. It says open world, right? Like, that's, like, the genre, I guess, and it's been described to me as such. Um, but it's really not. It's really not, because the open world seems to be divided into exterior cells. And when I tried to just walk to the next area, it was like, no, you have to go through a menu and use a fucking fast travel. Now, maybe that was because it was a t tutorial and it was trying to teach me how to do it, but that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. The game was like, oh, just fucking teleport to the next town and I tried to I, I fucking tried to as it you know forced me to and then it just automatically stopped me halfway it was like oh you can stop at a camp and then let me wander off like I don't it seems to be segmented into like different exterior cells that load on proximity to give it like the illusion of open world but yeah it I don't know how I feel about that I also don't know how I feel about leaving town leaving the tutorial area and the immediate first combat interaction that I had was with a group of dudes who fucking one hit killed me I got one-shotted with a just a single fucking sword swipe. I There were skulls above their heads, so they were uh, over my level. Um, I knew they'd be dangerous to fight, but I didn't think the difficulty spike would be that high immediately out of the starting area. What the fuck is that balancing? What the fuck is that game balance? use a key i don't have the key why would i have a key for this why would i have a key for this fucking chest out here by the water what that's so stupid 
Unless that... What is that? What the fuck is that? You guys see that fucking health bar? What? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this thing? And now there's farmers who are also attacking it. Who's more of a threat? The farmers or the monster? I don't know. I don't... Well, you know, I'm just gonna... We're gonna take care of them. Take care of them. And now we'll... Oh, yeah, okay. Don't fight this thing head on. That's not good. That's... Yeah, this thing's gonna rip my asshole in half. What if I just... What if I just, huh? Or I could... Oh, it killed my fucking comrades. It straight up killed them. Yeah. Call me Tartan because I just got killed. Fuck. Elmio, I need to take five hits then die. Probably because Rogue. It's probably And then that looks like the first boss but skinnier. Yeah, it does too. It's like a slimmed down version of the first one. But way tougher. Oh god. Way tougher. Okay, well. Immediately into the clearing again. Oh, he's just hanging out by the cave there. Well. Good luck, guys. Good luck. I hope you, uh, I hope you all die in that encounter. Where are my guys? Are they back there fighting? I hope not. Fucking dumbasses. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta plug this fucking thing in. Here we go. Is there more? Is there... Shoot it. Or don't. Whatever. Fuck. What? Oh, god damn it. Nope. Oh, fuck. It really bugs me that, like, combat doesn't consistently end. Like, I've ended combat encounters, and, like, my character just automatically puts her weapons away. And then I will end combat encounters, and they'll just... They'll continue going. Until you, like, forcibly sheath your sword. I don't like that inconsistency. There's re really, like, outside of combat, there's no reason for the, um, for the swords to be out. There's really no reason for you to take your sword out and swing it around like this, here. The environment's not destructible and the uh like chests and everything like you just walk up to them and, and click you don't have to like hit the fucking bushes to get the fruit out of them or anything you just walk up and press x so the ability to do this is completely unnecessary Meet the Tlemme got 50 meters, huh? He's somewhere over here. This is so fucked. Like, where? Oh, did I meet... Is this a camp? Contract. Enraged Dantrig. Merchants beware. One of these beasts that the natives call Dantrig is attacking everything that comes near the north of the river. Those who follow the path that give access to the tear dub through the natural dam must be especially prudent. Whoever kills this enraged beast will be offered a reward. Is that that big fucking angry thing that was up top there? I think one of these losers is a companion that I can pick up. When I was trying to figure out how the companions worked, I, I saw like the full list of companions. Spoiler alert, there's only five. There's only five, and there's only four of them that you can romance of the five. Well, I, I guess, no. 
Only one of the five you cannot romance. I guess I should have said. But one of them is one of these dudes. One of these, like, armored conquistador guys. Who, from his photograph, actually looks kind of like a... Um, he kind of looks like more Japanese than he does Spanish. He almost looks like a samurai in um, in conquistador armor. From, from the photo that I saw. What's, that's going to require vigor, isn't it? Balance, one vigor. Yeah, I don't have enough vigor. I'm not vigorous enough to walk over a log. Maybe I can increase my vigor by getting salty, like in Bioshock. Just get real fucking salty and, and just explode with vigor. Yeah, this. This is so fucking weird. And like here. The. This is. Camp near. Campfire near the white gorges. This is where I am, isn't it? But it's like, no, you can't. Where am I? Oh, it wants to go here. What the shit? So initially it told me to go here, and then... Oh, fuck. 18 hours, 2 minutes? I'm gonna get over there, and immediately have to turn around. Yeah, what is this? Now I'm stopped at a fucking camp! Why did it stop me at camp on the way? I don't... Like, teleport me to the town that I asked to go to. Fuck. Man with the silver coin. I gotta be back in 13 hours, 9 minutes. Oh, great. That's wonderful. It's a fucking isolated little area. And I come out of the, mon the menu and it just fucking hitches like that. And now, of course, I can't go back. You may continue your journey level low. Like, what the fuck is that? Continue my journey. I hit the fast travel button. There's no journey to continue. Stops you at camp so it can load the next area. That's... No, I'm not stupid, Firefox. That's fucking stupid. The fact that the game stops you into a hub area... It, it loads the hub area and then dumps you in there so it can load the next area. Just fucking load the next area! Fucking load the next area instead of loading the camp and making me wait at the fucking camp! I, I booped into the camp and it said, like, area loaded, like, right away, right? So there's no fucking point to that camp. There's no point to it stopping you there during the fast travel. When you hit fast travel on the X button and the screen fades, it should stay fucking faded or on the loading screen until this has loaded. Don't dump me at the camp. That's stupid. That's fucking ridiculous. That is a waste of time. You know what I did while I was at the camp? I fucking left. Because there was no need to, to do anything at the camp. But at the camp, it lets you choose your companies, and there is a shop and a chest. Yeah, that's great. There's a shop and a chest everywhere else, too. And I, you can go to the... I'm not mad that the camp exists, Firefox. I'm mad that the game forcibly dumped me at the camp when it told me that I was going to go to the town. Don't tell me that it's going to fast travel me to the town and then dump me at the camp. The game fucking lied. That if... It makes sense if you are on your way, like if you are going on foot from one place to the other, and you stop at the camp on the way mid-journey because you need to sell items or buy potions or craft shit or change your party. But I was not on a journey. I was in a fast travel. There's no need to do any of the shit that is available at the camp during a fast travel. 
The whole point of the fast travel is to skip everything that those functions are needed for. The whole point of the fast travel is to skip the combat and the exploration and the picking up of items. And, and now th this, this is, I fast traveled to the city. So why the fuck did it start me outside of a fucking guard camp or outside of a poor village that was outside of the city that I fast traveled to? I traveled to that fucking location on the map, not outside the ghetto what wh what the fuck is that it would have made sense if i had approached on a journey on foot from that direction but i fucking fast traveled why did it not dump me at that gate right there why did it not dump me just inside that gate that's fucking ridiculous Uh, this game seems cursed, says Sky. It does seem cursed, which is unfortunate because it looks really good. Like it's it's very well rendered and and detailed. There's a lot of. I mean, you can see some flat, you can see some flat unloaded textures like right now, um, but like, they clearly spent time and money on this game. In the name of the enlightened but one, present yourself. clearly not enough. Clearly not in in any of the right areas. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting. They went through the trouble of making sure that the cape didn't clip through the armor or the character model, but they just couldn't stop it from fucking jittering like that. Look at that. Look at my cape fucking twitch like it has Parkinson's. I mean, like absolute lowest on the priority list of bugs and shit on like like on a bug report right but like come on come on like that had to have been done that had to have been fucking done like the like the cape not clipping through the model that doesn't just happen right you have to fucking tweak that in your in your game design um it's not just a fucking click and drag like, uh, like, like dropping in texture packs and shit, right? Uh, you have to make sure that those models don't fucking, like, interact with each other in the way that they're not supposed to. So they clearly spent the time on the cape to make sure that it didn't clip through her fucking ass. But then they didn't bother to spend the extra time to stop it from bouncing off of said ass. That's probably exactly where I need to go. And the gate is closed. I'm probably going to have to go talk to a dildo. And the dildo will sit... God, we're... And I'm now forgetting... I gotta be there in like nine hours. I gotta be there in nine and a half hours. Should I go back to... I'm not going to make it back. Even if I fast travel, I'm not going to make it back here fast enough. So there's no way in hell. Was that there? I feel like that wasn't there before I looked at it on the map. Or maybe it was. Maybe it was. Maybe I was supposed to go over here first or here. I don't know. I don't know, but... We're clearly not going to make it back in time to save that merchant from getting shook down by the guards, so... Whatever. Firefox says, oh, by the way, you don't need to be on time. I came back a day later and the quest just continued. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's... That kind of sucks. The way this game was, like, advertised and described was like, oh, your choices matter. Every choice and action you make has a consequence. Far-reaching and rippling across the whole video game. 
And so it lends you that air of like, oh, well, if I don't, if I'm not there on time, then it's, you know, it'll be late and he'll get his face beaten in and, and the quest will fail or finish in a different state. And no, no, I guess not, huh? That sucks. That's kind of a letdown. Once again, this game's far-reaching choices seem to amount to that of Fable. Which really, like, did Fable even have choices aside from the fucking good and evil meter? And that, that really wasn't a choice, was it? That was, like... That was just a fucking meter that you could influence by eating tofu or baby chicks. Which is a fucked up metric, man. The fuck is a... The fuck is a bitch monkey? <laughs> that looks like a fucking Bloodborne monster. Up on the, the pyre there. It looks like the fucking cleric beast. Like that that image there of the the cleric beast monster being tied up at the uh, at the stake there and being burned. Um like that's like in Yarnum. That's in old Yarnum, right? Like that that scene. That, that, that is a fucking environment scene ripped straight out of Bloodborne, like, early game. I mean, I don't think they had a cleric beast on a pyre, but they had, like, those, those big fucking wolfos, right? It's a bitch monkey, we just call it, th we'll just call it that, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it the bitch monkey. Oh no, the Inquisition. The Pilgrim Inquisition. You stop where you are. Oh, it actually is an Inquisitor. Of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon spawned barbarians to our gates. Yeah. This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes and he calls us barbarians. Yeah. Who yeah. To address me with such familiarity. I I'm the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere, lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do how about, how about I give you a God of fucking God sock to the jaw there, bud? Only God. You look God real old, I'll bet your bones are super fucking brittle. Assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Renounce your faith in this God. No. I am not a believer. What are you going to do now? Burn me at the stake? Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. Were you in a slapper? Oh no, we're going straight to a fucking fight, huh? Oh, you're going first, bud. Yeah, you're going first. This time brute force has prevailed. But the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget. Don't don't get all fucking high and mighty. The light, nothing. You used brute force against that dude to choke his life out. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole shitty congregation here. I hope this whole city burns to the ground with you in it. Fucking religious zealots, man. God. Violence prevailed this time. Ugh. Yeah, and and what are you gonna do next time, huh? Are you gonna be more violent, and then and then preach that it was the light, and the Lord guided my hand such that I knocked that bitch's lights right the fuck out. The hypocrisy just drips, man. It just fucking drips. Like right off of every word. I'm his cousin. 
and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tifidim. Uh, Firefox says, by the way, since you are a rogue, should you have Kurt and that native bitch in your party? Uh, dude, I will beat you. You end the battle if you say, dude, praise me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Very s I feel like every interaction with these church people is gonna be like a Yakuza sub-story. For those of you who don't know, who've never played a Yakuza game before, um, Yakuza sub-stories seem to follow a particular formula, um, 100% of the time, <laughs> and that formula is your character sticks his nose into somebody's business and goes, hey, What's going on? And the other person goes, I'll kill you! And then, of course, you have the fucking fight with them, right? You beat their ass. And then after the fight, they, you know, it all started when my wife left me. As the fucking sad music starts. Everybody's got a, a fucking sob story and a, and, a, and a justification for their evil in Yakuza. I fuck I fucking love it because it's so cheesy and it, it's like a it's like a 100% of the time thing Your eminence, in the name of the congregation of Mercy, Firefox says you should play Yakuza 0 chance. on stream fun fact I was actually considering playing that instead of either this or Borderlands 2 I, I was actually considering playing Yakuza 0 um, instead of this Inquisitor Alu I um I'm extremely sorry. I I would like to go through the whole set at Alu some point. Um it's a very long series though. <laughs> very long series. And by the whole set, I mean Yakuza 1 to 6 and then 7. Which I guess 1 to 7. Uh but like not like Judgment and um like all those other side games. Uh, I I just want the the core Kiryu story. For he would never have allowed such an Because the dragon of Dojima is fucking awesome. Our theologians assert never seen a dude look so good in a suit before. A mm. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully. Firefox says, if you want, switch greed fall out. I might actually. I might actually, um, depending on how this stream ends. Because <laughs> like so far I'm I'm not like interested in this at all this game this game feels like it has a lot of poten potential to it but like so far i'm not interested in any of the shit that's going on and it seems like a big jank mess it's it seems like a big mess of of like information it's a it's a new weird breed of jank that's not like classic jank like uh like euro jank um it's weird new jank that's like i don't know it's like and his help in obtaining it's like the game is finished but like there were things that were left out or done differently on purpose and that results in it being a weird, janky mess. I'm not taking that other dude with me. Petrus, there we go. Confirm and quit. Well, at least it was 100% off. <laughs> oh, he yeah, it... I don't know. I, I, I like... I like the look of this game, and I, I like the feel of the Souls-type combat, but I don't know. Even as we get more into it, I'm thinking, like, the stuff that I was interested in, like, the magic and the monsters and everything, like, it all kind of seems to be just such a nothing background, like, like, I got the impression that we were going to come to the island and, like, oh, man, fucking, like, we're discovering magic, right? It's this, like, revolutionary thing. Like, the natives are the first and only to possess magic, and we have to learn from them. But it's such an ingrained thing that, like, you can start as a mage, and there's, like, th th there's no, um... 
like build into it right there's no setup for it there's no like leading into why you know magic no just you have a ring you just have a magic ring and you can just do magic it's weird it's weird and it makes it feel like there's not actually it feels like it's not actually going to be that important the fact that, like, the magic exists here. Or the importance of the beasts. Like, the fact that they just captured one of those fucking, like, what is it? The shit monkey or whatever? Um, bitch monkey. The fact that they just, like, ha managed to capture a fucking bitch monkey like that and string him up on a pyre, like... I guess they're not that big of a threat or a problem, right? Like... I thought maybe that they would be, like, an ancient defense mechanism or something that, like, the natives call upon to fight back against the invaders. No, it seems like these guys just live here. It seems like the bitch monkeys just naturally inhabit the island as one of its fauna. And, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's cool or not. My food is ready. I gotta go get my food. Um, Firefox says there's probably a mod which makes the game open world like you were saying. That would be kind of cool. Uh, it says maybe the ring has magic, but the natives can do magic without the ring. Well, that's that's what I mean though, right? Is like maybe they can and maybe we need the ring as like a cal... But like there's no setup for it, right? There's no... There's no setup or explanation for the magic near the beginning of the game. Like, I feel like there should have been some sort of intro to magic before we're given the option to use it. But you can straight up start as a mage before the game even begins. So there is no explanation to it beforehand, right? And it... It just makes it feel like it's less important. It just makes it feel like it doesn't mean anything. My food is ready, so I'm going to go get that, and I'll be back in just a second. Don't go nowhere, guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am back. I am back. And I put the feed on the right feed this time. Yay! Alright, fast travel. To the fucking city. To... To the city. It'll take me 20 hours to get here. And it's gonna stop me at a key. Yeah, it's gonna stop me at a f fucking camp. Why? 
Oh, that pisses me off. There's no need for this. There's no need. Ugh. Fucking dump me at the camp like that. Jesus. <laughs> no need for that. Like, all I'm doing is running back and talking to a guy. I'm doing fucking diplomatic missions here. Jesus. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office. That's another thing. Like, outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance. That seems really shitty. There must be a like, spot. there's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door. If it's someone may recognize you inside. I need to be much more discreet. It totally negates the entirety of since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots. Like, the whole point of it being an open-world game is, like, the exploration and the adventuring and the and the picking up, fighting monsters, looting shit, whatever, right? Um, but they straight up give you fast travel locations right at the beginning, which means that you can just skip to the next area and, and not do the exploration and the fighting and all of that, which should be like at least half of the game and it <clears throat> i don't know i feel like that just incentivizes not playing the game right like i feel like that incentivizes you to just skip the exploration and to fast travel back and forth like especially if it's so far so far, any combat that has been uh, involved in a quest has been, um, like, combat has been a side effect. Combat has been a, um, like, something that has happened just, like, because of a choice we made during a quest. Combat has not once so far been the goal of the quest itself. We've not had one of those missions yet where it's like, go out and slay ten rabbits. So, um, take the bait? Yes, your excellency. And I am very happy to see you. We've not had any quests yet that have, like, explicitly been go fight blank. Um, which would be... You would think that that's the kind of quest that would send you out into the field to go fight a thing, right? Now, we actually, we did pick up a contract... I am just remembering that we did pick up a contract at that one camp uh, about the monster out in the woods. Um, mind you, that was a contract that we picked up in the woods. We had to already be in the woods in order to get that quest. Being in the town here, being in the town, the quests that we seem to be picking up are the quests that have you just going back and forth talking to people. They're, they're diplomatic in nature. Um, and if that's all you're picking up, if, if you're only picking up diplomatic quests in town, well, if you need to go to another town, if you need to go to another location to talk to somebody, that other NPC is probably going to be in another town that you can fast travel to. Um, and the easiest way to go about that, the easiest way to get those quests done is to go and talk to one person after another and just string the conversations, right? Um, exploring between the areas really, like, pads it out and, and puts space between the events of the, the story or the quest line that you're trying to follow. So, like, it, it really, like, incentivizes you to use the fast travel... Um, instead of the, like, just walking on foot. Which is a really weird thing to do for an open world game. You'd, you'd think if it was an open world game, you'd want to incentivize the player to explore the open world. But all I've really been given so far is talk to people Stay alert. and think about how you want to talk to them I heard about the man with the silver coin but this is the first time now, Firefox said just fucking switch games if you don't like it so much stupid game I probably will 
I probably this is shaping up to look like this is probably gonna be the last part of Greedfall on the channel. But I'm gonna at least give it this chance. I do want to at least give it the chance to hang itself with its own noose. If I played it for 20 minutes and went, oh, this game fucking sucked, this is shit, I'm not playing, that's not really fair, right? That's not really fair. I am trying to give it a chance, I am trying to play more and see what the, the game has in store, what it's got to offer, but it doesn't seem to offer a whole lot, actually. <laughs> I hope that you will manage to make this stingy merchant pay. We will no longer tolerate his late payments. I will wait for you in the alley in front of the barracks. Don't be late, Egon. We must find this Egon. At the barracks, Why would you sign a letter like that? Why would you fucking sign a letter that implicates you in a fucking shakedown racket? You might as well have just written on a piece of paper, I am a huge criminal and this is the crime that I committed. Signed, some stupid asshole. Fucking signing your name on a note like that. Who, d who gave him the note? Who fucking handed that loser the note? And did that person not... It, like, if it wasn't this Egon person, did they not say, like, hey, this is from you-know-who? Or, or, like, hey, I have a note for you from the boss. Or, or, or anything in that context, right? No, dumbass had to fucking sign his letter. Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. God. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no Didn't we establish? They've been as sweet as lambs. Did did we establish that there are poor people in this world who can't read? I I can't remember if we had a conversation with uh, lower class individuals or not who um made comment about illiteracy. That may have been in something else. That I was either watching or playing, um, but if the if the lower the dregs of society can't even read, if uh, if literacy is something that's reserved for like the nobles and the upper classmen, um, that means that the only people who are capable of um, reading his note would be the exact same ones who would have the power to put him away for what he did, and and admitted to on the note. But I guess had he not. Indeed, we would like to talk to you about. Oh, do I do I follow him? Okay. It's now or never. Oh. Nope, can't shoot him. Okay. Hmm. I will. I will chase you. This like an Assassin's Creed. Egon, you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Don't take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I Did I catch him, heard, or? But you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you were implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You are therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. Are you Egon the criminal? I, my name's not Egon. Said the guy who didn't want to be ousted as a criminal. Let's see if you can ward off this or fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, they got armor. Oh, they got armors. Oh, that's a fucking corner. Don't get backed into that. And don't take hits. I don't know how many times I hit that potion button. I'm just gonna fire randomly. Oh, hey, hey, you're not actually all that tough, are you? Yeah! So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. 
Do we not? I'm real confused. Did he... Did he run into the corner, like, behind the thing I got stuck at? And just triggered a cutscene where we interrogated him because he has nowhere else to go? You're expected to catch up to him by that point? Or did we lose him and I'm, and I'm now talking to a new character? Marked silver coin. His symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred. Inform the merchant. All right, I will go tell him about the bullshit. Yeah, and you know, I'm fairly confident. I'm fairly confident that me murdering those guys in that back alley instead of trying to be diplomatic, if, if at all possible, um, is, is just not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. I conducted my investigation on the extortion uh, Bro, I two-taped... Two-taped all these bitches. Unfortunately, <laughs> I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. Bop, bop. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. Yeah, arrest them. Not only harm your merchant, arrest the men. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Because why would it stop? They call him Egon. I yeah. The bad guy got away. Why would he not continue to be a bad guy? I If there's one thing I've learned, I I've been reading this book, I think I've mentioned on stream a few times, uh, The Napoleon of Crime, this is the uh, the life and times of uh, Adam Worth, is a world famous criminal. A um, man who is credited with uh, stealing the Gainsborough, the portrait of the Duchess of Devonshire, Georgiania. And um, if there's one thing I've learned from reading this book, it's that criminals will continue to be criminals regardless of if they are caught or if they get away or whatever, right? Like, um, like people who, like, shake shake people down and steal and all that shit, um, that's what they do. Those are their skills, man. That's what they do for a living. If, um, if Piano Charlie got busted for uh for cashing fake checks and sent to prison for five years what the fuck do you think he's gonna do when he gets out of prison he's gonna go back to cashing fake checks it's, it's, it's the only thing he knows how to do and like that's that's a man who got caught for it this is talking about somebody who got caught and arrested for their crime he just goes back to committing the crime because what the fuck else am I going to do? Get a real job? That's a fantastic book, by the way. The Napoleon of Crime. Um, a biography about Adam Worth. That was a great book. It was a, it was a hoot to read. You learn not just about um, Adam Worth, but like about all of his... Um, criminal compatriots uh, all his like associates and uh, and the like um, a bunch of the jobs that they pulled the methods that they use all kinds of stuff right um, and it's absolutely hilarious to read about this guy just dicking with the police over and over again Adam Worth has a, a real good he had a real good habit of like um, of going the uh, the Manson route, I guess, and having um, other people do his dirty work for him after a certain point. He would just play coordinator and benefactor. Uh, so, tons of crime being committed, like, because of him. And yet he's always that, like, one step ahead of the police. And he's always, like, sending, like, little notes just to say, like, eh, fuck you guys. Love it. I love it. Uh, I have a point to spend, and I'm going to spend it on... I'm going to spend it on agility. Agility, that's right. I have... Oh, I have three skill points now, right? Yeah. I have three skill points to spend. 
on a roll and no no i didn't read it right no the arrows the arrows fuck the arrows indicate that you go one direction not the other which means that I can't... Can I go all the way through here? I don't think I can go back from this one. I might be able to go all the way around there. But that does that means I can't go down here and then come back up to take a shortcut there. Fuck! I could you I do have an item that'll let me respec. But I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm probably not gonna fucking finish this anyway, so... <sighs> Probably not gonna finish this anyways. I feel like I might... <sighs> I feel like I want to say, like, I might come back to this, like, in my off time, off camera, and go through it one, one little bit at a time, but I really don't think I will. Like, I keep thinking about the combat, and like, yeah, I want to get more of the combat... But that's a really small part of this game, and everything else is just not worth it. Not worth it, I don't think. Um, Carfox said, just because my weapons had a stun longer than the attack speed. Oh! Okay. And so you have a restart crystal, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use it, though. I don't know if... I don't know if it'll matter. I don't think it will. You know what? Y you know what? It won't matter. It won't matter because I... I don't need another two and a half hours to determine that I don't want to fucking play this game on stream. I don't. I just don't want to fucking play this game on stream anymore. I am probably actually kind of don't even want to play this at all. Period. Like, not even in my off time. I I think we're gonna fucking switch here. I think... Yeah, I think we're fucking switching that. Sorry to all of you at home who got into it. And we're like, yeah, great fall! But yeah, we're not, uh... We're not. Save it for a friend. Well, my restart crystal, the game. Oh, save, uh, eh, eh. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. I tried. I tried. You guys saw, right? This will be the third part on YouTube. I tried. I don't fucking like it. I don't fucking like it. Uh, the game in the library, I mean. Oh, oh, yeah, it'll, oh, yeah, it's already in my library. It's gotta be in the library to get downloaded. But, uh, I'm gonna delete this off of my console for sure. For fucking sure. In fact, close application, delete. Yeah, there you go. There you go. The decision has been made. The decision has been made. Fuck Greedfall. Again, sorry for everybody who got excited for it on the YouTube, but I don't like that game. Don't like it. Farbox is the background, though. <laughs> uh, I did have a bit of a nice background. It did. It looked really good. It looked really good, but uh, unfortunately, didn't uh, didn't pan out so well. So, that is enough of that.